So let's talk about some of the great new pieces from Kurt Geiger. Hello, 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 and the warmest of welcomes to today's video. For those of you who haven't seen my face before, hi, I'm Nick, fab to have you here. For those of you who have seen my face before, thank you so much for joining me again. I hope you enjoyed my videos. I put out videos roughly three times a week on a range of different topics, anywhere from fashion to some slightly more personal topics. So if that sounds like something you'd be interested in, then please do head down, hit subscribe, and turn on the notification bell. I love chatting with you all. I'm all about living life loud, and what that means to me is being your authentic self, being proud to be you, and just celebrating who you are. Celebrating yourself and celebrating others. So, I hope you all enjoyed my recent handbag reveal. It was a really fun one. Let me know what you think. If you haven't seen that video, go and check it out. I will link it below, but let me know what you think about my newest purchase. Anyway, let's talk about Kurt Geiger. As you know, I'm a big Kurt Geiger fan. I have a number of the pieces myself, whether that be shoes, bags, SLGs. Don't own any of the ready to wear yet and don't own any of the jewelry. However, I'm sure at some point that will make its way into my collection. For this list, I was looking on Selfridges because I find that they tend to have some different items to the Kurt Geiger site itself. And I tend to be more drawn to the items in Selfridges than, um, than on Kurt Geiger's actual site. So I'm gonna use Selfridges as the basis of this. I also believe that you can get global shipping when it comes to Selfridges. Um, but do let me know if I've, if I've got that wrong, but I think you can get Selfridges items shipped internationally. Anyway, without further ado, let's get into it. We're going to talk about bags, we're going to talk about shoes. I think we've got the odd accessory in here as well. So let's just go through it. And the first item that I was absolutely in love with was this Kurt Geiger Kensington Double XL flap in this beautiful tie dye. I think the colour is stunning, it's bright, it's bold, it's vibrant. The double XL flap is a really good size, it's a very practical bag. Love the silver hardware, the beautiful pink interior as well. Just a little bit of a pop, I think this is incredibly good fun. Definitely very bright, definitely very bold, very much my style. This is one that if I go into London soon, I will absolutely be going to look when I go to Selfridges. And sticking with the tie-dye theme, they actually do this in another couple of bags, but in a slightly different um, variation. So the double XL was very bright and very bold, um, as is this um, large Kensington. However, this has a white base leather with a beautiful tie-dye print across it. This again is absolutely stunning. This also comes in a smaller clutch bag version. I'm really torn between which of the Kensingtons I would like because the double XL flap is much more my size of bag that I prefer. However, I think this beautiful white leather with the tie dye running across it is simply stunning. Um, and it's very much my style. I posted it on my Instagram story and I got a number of messages saying that is so you and it very much is. So I'm a little bit on the fence as to which one, maybe both, maybe neither. Who knows? But they also do it in this smaller flat bag version as well, which is around 150 pounds. The double XL is 299. The medium or large um, Kensington is about 250. So really good price points and they're very, very beautiful. These will be stunning summer bags as well. I think you can wear this type of item any season, but they would be beautiful for summer. Big fan of these, love them. Now let's do a shoe, and a shoe style that I've been really enjoying is kind of knitted trainers, and Kurt Geiger do some really fun versions, but the ones that I've been particularly drawn to, and they do sit within the ladies collection, is the Letty knit kind of sock boot, but it's got this beautiful pastel rainbow that runs along the sole of the shoe, and then the, and then the main um, fabric of the shoe itself is this black knit. It's around 180 pounds, which is, you know, fairly expensive, for a shoe, and I know that these are reminiscent of the Balenciaga Speed Trainer, is that what it was called, from, from a few years back. I just think they're so fun, I think they're really playful, the pastels are beautiful, love the contrast of the black knit with the beautiful pastel rainbow, I think it works incredibly well, these will be very very comfortable I can imagine, so absolutely a great choice if you're looking for something that's practical, easy to wear, should be comfortable, couldn't wear in the rain, which is a bit difficult in the UK, but hey, we're coming into summer now, so let's hope, let's hope, that the good weather continues. Or if you're in a climate that's warmer and drier for the majority of the year, these could be a great option for you. Now let's go to a heel. We all know I love a heel, not so much after wearing them all weekend. Um, my feet are still not quite right, um, but I love a heel and I particularly like these Duke 
mules, these embellished duke mules in this beautiful pastel ombre effect. It is absolutely beautiful. These are showstoppers. They're a sensible heel height. They're about 100 millimeters, pointed toe. I do think that you have to be a little bit careful when it comes to a shoe like this to keep it on because your foot can easily slide out of it. But I think if you just walk confidently in them and you walk heel toe, heel toe, gravity will mean that your foot um, finds its way towards the front of the shoe, mean they should stay on and should fasten a little bit more easily. But they're very beautiful, lovely color choice. The embellishment adds a little bit of fun, a little bit of bling. Um, I think these would be a really nice option and they could be worn with a lot of different outfits. I actually think these would be really nice with a turned up jean, a t-shirt, something a little bit more casual. Add these on to just add an element of formality. About 180 pounds, good quality shoe. I think these would be really nice. Let's do another bag and this is a really fun one. It's currently out of stock but I am hoping that they'll bring it back in and this is the Kurt Geiger London Kensington upcycled shoulder bag. So this is a Kensington flat bag but it is made out of a number of different materials that Kurt Geiger have used for their other bags, their other items and I just think it's really good fun. This comes in two sizes. This comes in I believe the kind of the medium large size and then it also comes in the small size as well. Both are really really beautiful. What I particularly like about the small size is in one of them there is this absolutely gorgeous almost like pale blue velvet that's on the back of the bag. It is stunning. They've chosen some really fun prints. Um, it's a nice way of reusing materials. It's a nice way of bringing in aspects of other collections that have maybe passed. These are really good fun. They are still practical. They are still fun. They are enjoyable. I just think Kurt Geiger is a great way of adding something a little bit different into your collection. Something that maybe has a slightly more classic silhouette without needing to be any way near a classic print. Um, you can of course buy a Kensington shoulder bag in a black leather or if you want to and they do do vegan versions as well Alternatively, you can buy them in really bright colors. You can buy them in a mixture of materials You can buy them in patchwork sequins. So I think that's a really nice option This is a really fun one and like I said it comes in a couple of different sizes it can be worn shoulder crossbody handheld Whatever you want to do Another double XL that I thought was worth mentioning, this one isn't a personal favourite of mine, but I think if you are very into the sequin rainbow, then you could have a lot of fun with this, and I'm sure that up close it will be really beautiful. This is a sequin rainbow double XL flap, very similar um, in style to the hot pink and the lime or apple green that was released when was that? Probably December time. I think we started to see some of those sequin items come through. They were very popular. They were hard to get hold of. This one is, this one is fun. This one is beautiful. Um, it's not my personal taste. I'm a little bit more into pastel. Um, when it comes to the rainbow that Kurt Geiger do. I think I just find that to be more my aesthetic. But this is really bright, really vibrant, really fun, really bold. Um, an absolute showstopper of an item. And it still comes in that very practical double XL size, which like all of the other Kensington bags can be worn on your shoulder, handheld, crossbody, lots of variation there. It's really good fun. And this could be worn in a more formal setting, bit of glam. Alternatively, you could wear this with a really casual outfit and just use this to top it all off. Now, a shoe that I've always been quite fond of, and I've thought about buying this variation a number of times. This is the Kurt Geiger Donny, and they do this in the black leather with the black laces, kind of an all black version. And I've thought about these a number of times. I own about five pairs of Donnies myself in quite bold variants. I really like it as a shoe style. It takes a minute to get them comfortable and I would recommend, I'm a size 10 and I would recommend going to a size nine in order to kind of, yes, they're a bit tight to start with, but I find that it makes them slip less. When they slip on your foot, that's when you start to hurt your ankle. Um, it starts to scrape a little bit. But I really do like this all black version. It's very simple, it's very classic, it's very sophisticated as a trainer goes. This could be a great trainer to wear with a pair of jeans. You could wear it with a suit if you wanted to. Like these very much, they're about 120 pounds. The great thing with the Donnies um, is that they quite often go on sale. So just keep your eyes peeled. Although I'm not sure that I've ever seen the black or white versions go in the sale. I've bought pink in the sale, I've bought leopard print, I've bought 
you know, all sorts. So you can buy lots of different variations, but the more classic don't tend to go in the sale. So you're looking at about 120 pounds. You're just looking for a nice pair of stud earrings that have a little bit of fun to them. Then these smile kind of gold colored brass earrings are a really nice option for you. They're gold, they've got these beautiful little um, kind of crystals on the interior that are multiple colours. They're a nice size, they're about £30. They're just a little bit playful, a little bit fun. If you're a fan of gold toned jewellery, then this could be a really nice option um, for you. I just think they're nice and playful and they don't have to cost the earth. <laughs> looking for something super sparkly and super bling for a poolside moment, then you could look at these Mina woven, they called them sandals, let's be serious, they're slides, aren't they? These are really fun, they're really pretty, love the rainbow, love the glitter. The only thing that's a little bit of a sticking point for me with these is that they're £89, and the only reason being is that I think that's a lot of money for slides regardless. You know, you can go to Givenchy and buy them for £200. Even that, I think, is ridiculous. So, I, I like these a lot. They're really good fun. They're playful. They're also a little bit fancier. So, if you did want to maybe go from the pool, throw on a cover-up or something, and then maybe go to a bar in the evening, these could be a little bit more towards that because they're just that little bit blingier, that little bit more fun. But... £89, I feel like, is quite a lot for slides overall, but they're pretty and I thought they were worth mentioning. Neon Gloriousness. These are beautiful. Look at these stunning heels. What are they called? I'm going to look. These are called the Shoreditch Eagle Charm Leather Heeled Sandals. These are beautiful. These come in two colours. These come in this beautiful neon. They also come in a lovely white. They're a sensible heel height. They have a number of straps, so they would be fastened to your foot. Do I think they'll be comfortable? I'm not 100% because I do worry with thin straps like that, that they can dig into your foot. I'm not an open shoe, an open toed shoe person. I wear a lot of um, pumps, as you know, or um, platforms, but these I think are really beautiful. They're quite dainty and elegant. These would be beautiful with a summer dress. I think quite a lot of the time they're referred to as kind of barely there heels, aren't they? But I absolutely love the neon yellow. I think they are gorgeous and that beautiful eagle um, charm as well that hangs around the ankle. Just a lovely little detail that's added to these. They would be very, very sexy. They could be a really nice top off to a simple outfit. I'm thinking, for example, imagine these with a beautiful black tailored tuxedo look or something and added these to them. A beautiful LBD or a lovely summer dress, a jumpsuit, whatever you wanted to do, I think this is a shoe that you could wear with basically anything. It would still look super beautiful. I like these a lot, they're very, very nice. A shoe I've looked at multiple times, they don't do them in my size, but they are beautiful, and I'm talking about the Bond, and they do these in this lovely glitter texture. Now, the Bond is a style that's been around for a fair while. They're about 170 pounds. The Eagle um, sandals that I referenced before were around 150 pounds. The Bond, I don't know how comfortable these will be. They are a sensible-ish heel height. They're 100 millimeters. However, the heel is very, very thin and it's that kind of solid metal. The I can imagine the center of your heel will be in a lot of pain by the end. Even just standing, these would be sitting down shoes. Could you spend a huge amount of time on your feet wearing them? I don't think so. They are home, Uber, restaurant, wherever you're going, back in the Uber, back home. Clubbing shoes, I'm not too sure. However, I did just wear, you know, 120 millimeter pumps out clubbing all night. So I don't really know. Um, but my feet are suffering for it. So, you know, you've got to do what you've got to do. Um, but these are beautiful. They've brought them out in a range of different styles and textures over the years. There's been for example, a red patent version. I think it's been a black patent version. They've done these glitter. Definitely worth looking at. Just take the comfort aspect into account. Okay, a slightly more classic um, item from the Kurt Geiger range, but I really like this. And this is a Kensington crossbody bag is what they refer to it as, but it has a top handle. This is fun. It's a flat bag, essentially. It's a Kensington flat bag, but they've added a top handle to it. It's in leather. It's a really lovely item. It's got gold hardware in this particular version, which goes really nicely with the black leather and the black eagle emblem on the front. I like the fact that you can wear this crossbody as a shoulder bag, as a top handle, without having to tuck the chain straps in. That's sometimes where 
where flat bags can be difficult because if you want to wear them with a top handle, you have to kind of tuck one chain in and, and pull it through. Whereas this already has that built in. It's a nice item all round. I think it would be versatile. It would be the type of item that if you were looking to fulfill multiple styles with one bag, this could work incredibly well at a reasonable price point. It's 250 pounds. You could wear this in the evening, you could wear this in the daytime. It's simple, it's elegant, it's effective. So definitely one that if you didn't want to have a huge amount of bags in your collection and you just wanted something that could transition across a multitude of styles and outfits, this could be a really nice option for you. And finally, this is a really nice one, but the only reason that I haven't bought this is because the color doesn't quite work for me, but I love everything that this bag is trying to do. I just wish maybe they brought it out in a slightly different color, and I'll let you know which colors I wish that they would bring it out in. And I am talking about the Kensington Double XL with the scarf woven through the chain in the terry cloth material in this lovely orange. The colour is lovely. I do really like the orange. It's just orange isn't a isn't a colour that I can wear very well. It doesn't suit me. Um, and therefore I don't have anything orange actually in my collection. Um, so this is a really lovely item. It's fun, it's playful. Love a fabric bag, as you know. Love how they've woven the scarf through. It just adds an, another texture in. That's what I'm really enjoying about this bag, is you've got this plushness and smushiness of the fabric for the bag. Then you've got the kind of quite cold metal. Then you've got this beautiful softness with the scarf that's wrapped through. You have a couple of different patterns and prints going on through this. And it would be a practical item. This would be a beautiful summer bag. It would be very practical. You could fit everything that you needed to. You know that I love the double XL flap anyway. Now, what? which colours do I wish they brought it out in? A hot pink? an aqua, a lime green, a bright yellow, something along those lines. The orange works well, don't get me wrong, just for my personal taste, I wish that there was maybe, I think actually, a turquoise or an aqua would probably be my favourite. Um, and at the £200 price point, if they brought it out in that colour, I would 100% buy it. I think it's a great, great price for this particular item. Just orange doesn't quite work for me. However, I'm sure there are many, many individuals who will absolutely love it. So it's a great item nonetheless. Very fond of it. Keeping my eyes peeled to see if they bring it out in any other colours, because if they do, this could absolutely be a bag style for me, just not in this particular orange. But it's beautiful nonetheless at a great price point. So there we have it everyone, that's what I'm thinking about at the moment from Kurt Geiger. Let me know what you think of my list, let me know if you've got anything on your wish list from Kurt Geiger. Thank you so much as always for watching and I look forward to seeing my next video. Take care everyone, bye now. Mwah.